during one of our senior pre presentations on depression, as a matter of fact, um, it was evident that there was a gentleman there um, that was really struggling with a significant depression. And he did agree to a further assessment by myself. Um, I went to his home and we did an assessment and he really was significantly depressed with some suicidal thoughts as well. His those suicidal thoughts are starting to disappear after Juliet Fredella and Susan Wickers reached out to help the man. They are caseworkers who go door to door for Senior Options and Solutions, a program affiliated with Eastern Long Island Hospital in Greenport. The program works with primary care doctors across the island to test elderly for the signs and symptoms of depression. Funded through a grant from the Office of Mental Health, um, there are four partners in our grant, one being Eastern Long Island Hospital, the other being South Oaks Hospital in Amityville, the Mental Health Association in Suffolk County, and the Town of South Hold. So they are funding this as a five-year project with approximately one and a half years left on our grant. The program started because there is a growing concern that suicide rates are rising among the elderly. Vital Signs 2009, a study done by Adelphi University, published the shocking number that one in four elderly persons are likely to commit suicide if depressed. So in an effort to reach elderly patients who may be feeling depressed, primary care doctors give their elderly patients a questionnaire. And if they score high, the patient is recommended to Fridella's program. We've done um, probably about 2,000 screenings as of now, um, about 250 that have led to about 250 assessments of individuals, and then probably about 500 follow-up visits face-to-face -face with those individuals in the community. Once a patient is referred, they are assigned a caseworker who visits them as little as once a month to as much as every day, depending on the severity of their depression. We usually keep people open, as I'll say, for three-month intervals. We're constantly reassessing um, when we can take the, move the patient off of our, our care, our case lists, just because, you know, we always want to have room for new people. We never want to have a waiting list, which we've never had to date, um, because we move people rather quickly. The women say those who move off their list are moving on to better cope with their lives. Stella plans to remain the director of the center for as long as they'll have her, and she hopes to expand the program to Queens and the other boroughs within a year. For Stony Brook News, I'm Tara Dillon.